Hey, what's up guys, this is Cody, uh, back for another video, and just want to give you a quick little disclaimer, uh, my dogs are hanging out in the living room, so if you hear them at all, uh, any barking or whatever, it's just my dogs kind of chilling out and everything, so, um, yeah, but anyways, uh, today I'm going to be doing a video showing y'all how to put a Oakley visor on a Riddell Speed Flex. I've done this kind of video before, but I'm going to be doing it with a custom face mask that it was a little bit difficult to do this. I planned on doing this earlier, but I didn't have the right clips for my visor. And that was a whole process I'm about to get into here in just a second. So um, that's why there was a little bit of a delay in that. I was a little bit aggravated with it, but now we're finally at a point where I can do so. So without further ado, I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna try and show you two different ways to do this. One with a face mask already attached to the helmet and uh, one way to do it with the face mask detached from the helmet where I put the visor on there and then attach it back onto the helmet. So without further ado, let's get into it. So as y'all saw in my last video, I got the new, uh, got a new Riddell Speed Flex and got the uh, CU SFT 2BD SW face mask, uh, commonly known just as the uh, OBJ face mask. It's got the curved bars. You see a lot of college and NFL quarterbacks and receivers using this mask. I went ahead and got it, and uh, I love the even wider view as opposed to the normal two bar that I've been wearing for a few years now. But um, unfortunately it's caused a little bit of frustration, one of which being uh, right here, makes it a little bit easier to put clips on and clip it down. Um, originally, you know, the Oakley visor, that's what I'm gonna be using is the Oakley uh, Pro Clear Shield. These visors, I've found the clips do not work for this face mask trying to get a proper fit on there so i had to go out and get the unarmored visors i got only unarmored clips i got the unbranded ones so um i just didn't want unarmored i use nike so i just got the unbranded uh logo one or no logo ones so i'm about to get into it and show you first how to put the visor on with the um, the helmet on, and then I'll try and do it with the without the uh, with the visor not attached, with the face mask, sorry, not attached to the helmet. So as shown, uh, I've got the Oakley visor. I've got it in the uh, case right, and it's a little bag right now. Uh, it's just one of those microfiber ones that keeps it from getting scratched. Uh, pretty simple. It comes. <laughs> The, uh, sorry for the barking, that's my dogs. But uh, anyways, comes with the uh, bag to keep the visor from scratching when not in use. So uh, that's that. So here's the visor. Again, it is a Oakley Pro Clear Shield. Uh, it's not quite a prism, but uh, it's just a traditional Pro that's built for Riddell Speed Flex. If you get one of these visors, look for the one that actually says uh, Pro Shield on there. Whether it's a prism or not, those are the ones that actually fit on a uh, Speed Flex. If not, if you get a Legacy, they're not going to fit on there properly. Uh, I had to learn that the hard way. When the first one we got, Oakley, I got was a Legacy. And uh, it was hell trying to get it on there. So uh, that is what it is. All right, so uh, first thing I did was I put the visor between the jaw pad and the uh, shell. Uh, you do want to be careful of this. Um, these are durable visors, but uh, you don't want to sit here and mess around with that for too long because, I mean, it will eventually uh, result in scratching. And you do want to... Um, Go ahead and slide this up in there. You want to work 
work it up in there. That is the one thing I will say that Nike had uh, Oakley beat on is the flexibility. Uh, these are uh, fairly flexible visors, but the Nike does have um, have Oakley beat in that regard, uh, if we're being honest. Though the only thing that sucks about that is that the uh, the Nikes do crack more easily, but you know, it just is what it is. But I had to push it up in there and finally got it there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these uh, unbranded screws. Like I said, I got the Oakley ones and because of right here, it made it a lot harder on me trying to put the Try to put the visor on and put it in place. So I got the first one lined up on there. Um, this is the left side. You can do either side, doesn't matter. You do want to make sure you get this pulled out. Again, because of this coming out, it does make things a little bit difficult, hence the reason I got the more triangular screws or uh, part out here to uh, hold it down. I want to turn, turn the helmet around. As you can see, it's not perfectly lined up. You're going to still want to pull it out a little bit more. I'm going to unscrew this. All right, so I got the house, the housing uh, disconnected from the screw. So now what I want to do is I'm gonna take this, get the housing lined up over here. And there is a little bit of uh, kind of finagling and all that stuff that you gotta go through. Again, I apologize for my dogs. Get it lined up. And this is the part where it starts to get uh, a bit more challenging. But you are going to want to get in there, get as lined up as you, best you can. And uh, start screwing it in there. At least to where it will hold. And then try to push out even more. And to where it will hold firmly onto the, uh, the uh, face mask. And the tighter you do it, the more um, it'll help move the housing to get it angled the right way with these unarmor uh, clips. Yeah, say unarmor, it's not a true unarmor one, but it's made up of the same screw, same housing pretty much. Uh, it just, it doesn't have any logo on there. But it is a bit more challenging than the Nike ones but they are uh, designed to fit. So, I mean, after you put a visor on a helmet, you know, you gotta test it out, see how it looks, all that good stuff. So, without further ado, so, feels good, looks good. Um, 
you know, during the summer it gets pretty hot out and everything, especially these Texas summers now, it's technically fall. But, um, as humid as it is, you don't, a lot of people down here kind of don't wear the visor because of that, especially down here on the coast, but, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes I'm going to wear the visor, sometimes I won't. This is the best one for where I have. The helmet I have, the best clips I've got for it, and I, I'm glad I did it. I mean, it fits perfectly on there. Uh, again, if you're going to get an Oakley visor, make sure it says Pro Shield if you're wearing a, a Speed Flex. Uh, Nikes are good. Uh, Shock 2 visors I've heard are pretty good. I've never personally used them. I've heard good things that look good on there. But this is me just going off personal experience. The last one I had, um, I used the Oakley visor off and on for about two years. I say off and on, not because I was using other visors at the time, but... There were times I used a visor, sometimes I pulled it off, uh, depending on the fog situation. But, um, but yeah, man, these are good visors. I like them a lot. And now uh, I'm gonna try to show y'all the way to put the visor on with the face mask uh, detached from the helmet. All right, so as you can see, the uh, face mask has been uh, detached from the helmet. I've got my top screws, my bottom screws. Um, you can barely tell, but the top screws are ever so slightly larger than the bottom one. So I just make sure to separate. That way when I go to reattach the helmet, it makes it easier. Um, also with the visor, it does pop, pop up a little bit, as you can see there. Um, you don't want that happening. Or at least I don't like it uh, when I wear it when it's like that. So you're gonna want to go and, uh, you know, try to push it down when you put it on the helmet. And I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. Uh, but as far as applying it, it's the same process, just putting the face mask on there, getting it lined up, screwing it on there to the housing on each side um, I mean, that's really about it, but I'm going to go ahead and show you and run you through that as far as reattaching the face mask to the helmet with the visor on. All right, so here's the face mask. I'm going to get this lined up here. And the nice thing is when I did that, I didn't really have to go in doing extra finagling or whatever. I think just putting the tabs there on the helmet, kind of knocked it down a little bit. So I'm gonna take this, one of the top screws, put it in there, and it's got a housing inside of the uh, shell of the helmet. I'm not gonna go and dig through all that, but I wanna take my hand down in here Give me a little, make it a little bit more difficult than it normally is. There we go. I also have the Riddell uh, little tool here. I keep on forgetting what it's called, but basically it helps out with with the cam lock with the old ratchet system. Also, these these clips are Under Armour clips, and they did a very good job at teaming with Under Armour to help make this because I don't know if y'all remember, Oakley used to, uh, I'm sorry, not Oakley, Under Armour used to sell some of their visors on the Riddell website. So very smart move on their part. Um, You're gonna want to go stick the uh, back side of your finger in here. So it clicked, but it didn't do it properly. You're gonna take this part right here and you're gonna force it down and it should click. This is you know, a little bit more difficult than normal. But you're gonna want you're gonna hear and or feel a click there. So I got that that side on there. But take that. 
peel the uh, face mask back to where it will be able to fit in the groove of the uh, into the helmet. Do that. Another thing is I'll push the uh, face mask down in there. Push it down in there again. And then you should hear that click. And then you're just gonna repeat the process uh, down here. There's not really much extra to it. Click. One side's wanting to give me some issues, but it is. Click. Click. So click, 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 boom. So that is the Oakley Pro Shield Visor on a Rodell Speedflex with the uh, custom uh, SF2W, uh, basically the OBJ face mask. <laughs> but uh, long video, I probably made it a little bit difficult. There's probably somebody else out there that can do this easier than I can. Uh, I haven't found it, so I just went ahead and did a video for it. Uh, I've got two, two of them with the old straight bar uh, face mask that I did a while back, but since I got this face mask, wanted to go and do it. But uh, yeah, uh, I love this, love the helmet. Uh, anyone that knows me knows I play semi-pro. This is the only kind of helmet I've been using since then. It was my rookie year was back in uh, 2017, 2018. So Speedflex was two, three years old. Uh, my old high school, they, program we got them in 20 oh god they're about three or four years old so my junior year when i got them uh we got some of the speedflex prototypes and uh they became really a thing about a couple years later i got one and i love them the new axioms have come out there's a little bit more out of my price range and these these homes have done great for me so that's what i'm sticking with uh, I might eventually get an Axiom, but we'll see. But I've always wanted this face mask in particular since it came out. Uh, just now I got in a situation where I had, um, it made sense for me to go ahead and do it. So I went ahead and, and uh, did the dang thing. So hope you guys liked it. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any further questions on this, I'll answer them the best I can. Just leave them in the comment below. Uh, comments below. I'll attach my social medias, like my uh, uh, my Instagram account, Twitter. Uh, I also do lessons here in Brazoria County for quarterbacks, receivers, all that stuff. So I'll attach info for that as well. Uh, just as a little side hustle thing I got going, but. Uh, I'm also going to post more semi-pro content this year that I'm excited about, so be on the lookout for that. But again, thank you guys for the time. Thank y'all. Love y'all. God bless. Have a great weekend.